name's Tanam Shaw and I'm from the University of New South Wales. Today we're going to look at problem 18 from chapter 2 um, from the Math 1131 algebra course. Uh, this problem is asking us to find the area of a triangle with vertices that are given in R3. And on the board here I've written the theorem or the result that's going to help us work out the area of the triangle. The result is that the area of a parallelogram with the two vectors A and B as its side, as I've drawn in this diagram here, that's given by the length of the cross product of A and B. This is going to help us find the area of a triangle because a triangle with three vertices, that's just half of the area of the parallelogram. So in this particular question, we have our vertices here somewhere in three space. So we have A is 0, 2, 1. We have B somewhere, minus 1, 3, 0. And we have C somewhere else, 3, 1, 2. Our aim is to find the area of this triangle A, B, C. Now the area of this triangle, well that's just half the area of, let's say, the parallelogram whose lengths whose sides are the vector AB and the vector AC. So we just need to use this formula, but we only want half because we only want the area of the triangle ABC. I could have, instead of drawing this parallelogram here, I could have drawn a parallelogram here, I could have drawn a parallelogram here. They will all give, them, give me the same result. So, what do we have? We're trying to work out the area of triangle ABC and we know this is going to be half of the length of the cross product between the vector AB and the vector AC. So the vector AB cross product with the vector AC. So we just need to work out these components. We need to work out what the vector AB is, what the vector AC is, their cross product and then the length of that. So the vector AB, that's the position vector of B minus the position vector of A. So that's just this written in column form here. Minus the position vector of A is this written in column form here. So here we have minus one, one, minus one. The vector AC, that's the position vector of C minus the position vector of A. So that's C in column form, 3, 1, 2. Take A, which is 0, 2, 1. And we'll get the vector 3, minus 1, 1. Okay, so we have each of these vectors. Now we need to take their cross product. So the cross product, AB cross AC. Let's just write out those vectors. So we want minus 1, 1, minus 1 cross 3 minus 1, 1. So the cross product has a pretty tricky formula. You just need to know how to apply it. So this is going to be just a single column vector here. Now, the first component of the column vector, to get it, we can just kind of block out the first row here. And what we're essentially doing is trying to find what we would call a determinant of the bottom two here. So that's 1 times 1 take minus 1 times minus 1. That's going to be our first component here. 1 times 1 take minus 1 times minus 1. The second component of our cross product, we block out the second row here. Now the second row is tricky because we have to have an extra minus in it. So it's the negative of this times this take this times this. So the negative of minus 1 times 1 take 3 times minus 1. Just again, we block out this row and it's the negative of this times this take this times this. For the third component of our cross product, block out the last row. We don't have to have that minus in there. We just want this times this take this times this. So here we will have minus 1 times minus 1, take 3 times 1. 
So this is a single column vector, we just need to calculate those numbers. So once again for the cross product, for the first component, block out the first row, this times this minus this times this. Second component, block out this row, negative, that times that minus that times that. Block out the last row, that times that times that, minus that times that. So what do th these numbers actually calculate to? So here we have one take plus one, so that's just zero. Here we have the negative of, let's work out this, minus one plus three is two, so it's negative two. Here we have one take three, which is minus two. So our cross product of AB and AC is this vector here. So we've calculated the middle here. So the area of our triangle from our formula is half the area of the parallelogram. Um, and the area of our parallelogram is this. We've worked out the middle. The cross product is 0, minus 2, minus 2. We still need to calculate the length of that, the length of this vector. So remember, the length of a vector is the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So in this case, we have the square root of 4 plus 4, square root of 8, that's 2 root 2. So we have a half times 2 root 2, or just the square root of 2. So let's just conclude. Therefore, the area of triangle ABC is square root 2 square units. And that's how we calculate the area of a triangle given the vertices.